We're going to use some of this Super DFM uh, probiotic for honeybees to hopefully help treat these sick bees out here that we've been uh, dealing with for the last couple of weeks. If you remember six days ago, Philip Carter, the Alabama State Bee Inspector, was here, and we have poop stains all over the front of this colony. Also quite a few dead bees after a recent cold snap. So we're going to apply this stuff and see if it helps. Couldn't hurt. When I was at Hive Life, I bought uh, this probiotic. It's uh, 2.5 kilograms or 5.51 pounds, enough for 500 applications. I really believe it'll help, but I know it can't hurt. If you look in the box right here, it's kind of cool. You think this is like a little handle thing, but actually it's an applicator spoon. And so uh, that should be just enough for each dose. So we'll put one scoop per colony out here. And if you look down there, you'll see the bag uh, that contains the product. They're still hanging on in there. Not very many bees, but there's still a colony. Get one little scoop. So you just spread it out over the top of the frames like that. Right there. I think that's all there is to it. Put the lid back on. And we'll move on to the next one. See those four dots right there? About three or four weeks ago, this was a super strong colony. Let's see how they look now. That looks more like it. Look at that. And they're pretty calm too. I have been feeding them like crazy, so they're pretty happy. Man, look how calm they are. Just gonna dust them, just to dust the top of the frames. And move on. All right, we're gonna treat the rest of these. All right, let's do a few of these. The bees seem super happy today. It's a beautiful day, I think it's, I don't know, maybe around 60, give or take a degree or two, I'm not sure exactly. Oh man, super strong colony, not at all aggressive. I think it's probably a good idea with them going out of town if we can get them healthy and strong before they go. You know, it definitely couldn't hurt. Maybe help give them a little boost. Oh man, yeah, these colonies are looking pretty good. I was a little bit weaker. Nice and strong. Those girls are really strong right here. Well, that one's a dead out. It's getting robbed out. He was actually real weak when I checked him a while back, so I'm not surprised. Oh, I got to show you all this. This one just had three or four frames of brood in it a while ago, and this turned into a nice strong colony. It's going in the right direction. Packed in there nice. Yeah, I think we'll end up sending that one out west. If any of y'all have any ideas on how to apply this stuff, like I say, it's my first time ever using it. So still hoping they'll fill in a little bit over here, but with all the food I'm giving them and stuff, I'm sure that they're, they're growing in there. I think it's much stronger than it was just, you know, a few weeks ago. So they're going in the right direction. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these. And I hope the ones that are sick get better. And I hope it boosts the ones that aren't sick. Kind of excited to see how this stuff works. Let's see how this colony's doing. It's got four dots on it, which means it should be Plenty strong enough, Ooh, they might get after me. Whoa, look at that. Wow. That's what I wanna see right there. Check out this colony of bees right here. Think they're ready to get on the truck? I think so, wow. Wish they were all like this. They're a little feisty though, they're getting after me a bit. Just treating them all. Man, look at this strong colony of bees right here. <laughs> I think they're gonna pass inspection. What do y'all think? As I'm picking in on these, gratefully, they're looking stronger than they did, which you would expect with the food I've been giving them. There are still some that are pretty weak, but man, several of them look just like this. And here's one that I have marked as a four frame colony, and it's still probably just three to four frame colony. So they didn't all grow. They're not all super strong, and this one will not be on the truck. But then again, if you look at the brew box, it's a deep on the bottom of this one. <laughs> Maybe it will be on the truck. I'm gonna to have to double check from the bottom before I grade them for the final grade. Here's another one. 
<laughs> so much fun. Nice cluster of bees, and that's in the top box, a medium on top. So that bottom box is probably packed out full. This might be the strongest one yet. Check it out. Okay, all these bees out here are treated. Well, we got them all treated, the sick colonies and the healthy colonies, and a lot of them are extremely healthy. I'm really excited about that. That just goes to show what feeding the bees and keeping the proper nutrition in there can do for these colonies. Many of these colonies are stronger than they were a month ago, which is what I expected and hoped for, but it's always fun when a plan comes together. What do y'all think about using probiotics on bees? I know there are mixed reviews on that. It certainly couldn't hurt. Let me know down below. Uh, if you'd like to see the video where I was out here a few days ago and these bees were looking sick, you can watch that video right here. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. You look close, you can see those bees zipping by going over there to that food. Check them out. It's crazy, it's so much fun.